Hey everybody, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and in this video I'm going to go over the DHA slider. I'm going to show you a couple little things that you can do with it to uh, really add some cool effects to your photos. Uh, so if you have if you have Adobe Lightroom CC uh, and you haven't updated in a very long time, you might want to go ahead and run that update so you get this slider. It's been out for a little bit, but some people still haven't updated, so that's why I'm just kind of giving a friendly reminder here. So if you have updated and you've you kind of seen the DHA slider, you're not really sure what to use it for. Uh, this is kind of the t the tutorial for you here. So uh, if you go ahead and update your Lightroom and then go to the Effects tab in Lightroom, and you can see the DHA slider right down here at the bottom. Uh, and and what most people use this for is the uh, kind of night shots, kind of starry night shots or Milky Way shots, much like the one here. You can kind of see the Milky Way on the left. You can kind of see it vaguely right there. Uh, and what this normally does, what this tool does, is it really enhances the contrast a lot in some of the uh, the, if the sky here, and it'll take away some of the haze to bring out more of the Milky Way. So I'm just going to kind of slowly slide that up, and you can see how the Milky Way starts coming back. And probably around there is when I would stop it. You can go all the way, uh, and it'll just kind of look like that. But... Um, I'm kind of give it around to uh, to 70 or so so you can see just the before and after of, of that little that little bit right there we're taking out a lot of the haze in the sky so now if we were going to continue processing this uh, you can kind of go and, and increase the whites a little bit uh, increase the shadows take up the clarity that helps with the sky as well and kind of take down the blacks a little bit so you can kind of bring out as much of the sky as you would like. Um, but, you know, this is kind of like the, the Milky wasn't as visible as I'd like it on that night. So uh, it's it's not as prominent, but you can, you can kind of see the before and after of just doing those little steps. It brought out a lot of the color that was uh, kind of lost in the haze there. So let's go over to another photo and I'll kind of show you a, uh, a different effect for it. So this is a photo straight out of camera. I haven't done any editing to it. You can see how it's kind of off tilter here. But um, so what I want to do is apply the dehaze, but I don't want to do it to the whole image. So I'm going to use a gradient filter here. I'm going to go ahead and reset all my values here, make sure all those are good. And I'm going to pull it down from the top. And there's not necessarily haze in the sky, but watch what the dehaze slider does kind of see you kind of get a little bit more darkened sky up there. Now you could do that with the exposure, but you can see how it also brings down the whites. This one kind of doesn't really touch the whites. So you can actually add more contrast like that. Uh, if it's a little too blue up here, you can kind of warm it up just a touch. And you can go crazy with it right there if you wanted to. But you can kind of see how that worked. And now, now that I've got my dehaze up there, I can play with the, the uh, foreground of the image and kind of open the uh, shadows here. Uh, take up the contrast, give a little bit of exposure, and probably warm up the whole image to, let's do it right there. So now I want to add a little bit more effect here in the, in the sky, so I'm just going to actually take that, pull it down a little bit more, and then bump the uh, dehaze up a little bit. So there you go. You can kind of see the effect it did right there I'll show you the before and after you can kind of see how it brought out all those striations there in the uh, in the clouds so one more thing I'm going to show you and that's if you want to add haze uh, one thing you could do is take the gradient filter and sort of bra uh, bring that up right there and now I'm going to take the haze slider and go negative with it so now it kind of is like a foggy effect this probably isn't the right image technically for this because it's uh, you know it doesn't really look anywhere close to it being foggy. But you can kind of see the effect that it gives. So if you have uh, maybe a morning shot with uh, with a little bit of fog, maybe uh, like you're in a, a forest scene, like a classic forest scene with a little bit of fog and some sun rays coming through the trees. If you decrease the dehaze slider a bit, it's actually going to amplify that fog and add a little bit more mood to your image. So. It's a really good way to to kind of add more crazy effects like that and and still keep it uh, still keep it true to kind of what the original image was. So hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial on the dehaze filter. Uh, head on over to sleeklens.com for more photography, everything that you can think of. And this is Jordan from sleeklens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.